The French Florial class frigate FS Vendemier has docked at Palawan port in preparation for its participation in the Balakatan 2024 exercise alongside Filipino and United States forces. The arrival of this formidable warship marks a significant moment in the military cooperation between France, the Philippines, and the United States. French Ambassador to the Philippines, Marie Fontenelle, was present to personally welcome the ship and its crew. Ambassador Fontenelle's presence underscores France's strong commitment to strengthening bilateral relations with the Philippines, particularly in defense and maritime security. During this visit, intensive discussions took place regarding the potential acquisition of the FS Premier Maitre Lur warship by the Philippine Navy. Officials from both countries engaged in detailed conversations covering various technical, security, and financial aspects related to the acquisition process. The recently decommissioned FS Premier Maitre Lur from the French Navy became the focal point of discussions. The potential acquisition of this vessel by the Philippine Navy opens new opportunities to enhance the maritime capabilities of the country and reinforce the Philippines' maritime presence in the regional waters. With its advanced technical specifications and extensive operational capabilities, the FS Premier Maitre Lur offers significant potential for the Philippine Navy to address maritime security challenges in strategic waterways effectively. Furthermore, the acquisition of this vessel would strengthen defense cooperation between France and the Philippines, enhancing interoperability between their navies. The arrival of F.S. Vendemier and Ambassador Fontenelle's visit also presents an opportunity for both countries to deepen military cooperation through joint exercises, personnel exchanges, and defense technology transfers. The Balakatan 2024 exercise is expected to serve as an ideal platform for the Philippine Navy, France, and the United States to enhance their operational capabilities collectively and strengthen their partnership in maintaining security and stability in the Asia-Pacific region. France may offer to transfer military technology and knowledge to the Philippines as part of the warship acquisition package. This could involve technical training for the ship's crew and the transfer of defense technology related to weapon systems, navigation, and communication. With the end of her tenure in the French Navy, many parties, including the Philippine Navy, began to consider the potential acquisition of the vessel. The potential acquisition of the FS Premier Maitre Lur by the Philippine Navy indeed opens up exciting possibilities for enhancing maritime capabilities and bolstering security in the region. The advantages offered by this formidable warship are numerous and could significantly contribute to the Philippines' efforts in safeguarding its sovereignty at sea. Here's a breakdown of the key points highlighted in the proposal. The FS Premier Maitre Lur is equipped with state-of-the-art technology and defense systems, ensuring tactical superiority in various operational scenarios. This capability would be invaluable for the Philippine Navy in effectively addressing maritime challenges and threats. The vessel's diverse features and operational capabilities make it highly adaptable to different mission requirements, ranging from patrol duties to combat operations. This flexibility would enable the Philippine Navy to respond effectively to evolving security dynamics in the region. Built to high-strength standards, the FS Premier Maitre Lur offers exceptional resilience in various weather conditions and maritime environments. This resilience is crucial for maintaining operational effectiveness even in adverse conditions. With ample capacity to store equipment, weapons, and helicopters, the vessel can serve as a versatile platform for a wide range of missions, including air patrols, anti-submarine warfare, and amphibious landing support. This versatility enhances the Philippine Navy's operational capabilities and flexibility.
The acquisition of the FS Premier Maitre Lur would not only bolster the Philippines' maritime capabilities but also have broader strategic implications. It would enhance cooperation and interoperability with regional partners, strengthen military relations, and contribute to stability in the Southeast Asian region. However, it's essential to acknowledge the challenges and considerations involved in the acquisition process. These include significant costs, infrastructure adjustments, crew training, and the integration of the vessel into the Philippine Navy's fleet. Overcoming these challenges would require careful planning, investment, and coordination to ensure the successful acquisition and seamless integration of the FS Premier Maitre Lur into the Philippine Navy's operations.